I just want to take a minute and explain a couple things about Clever. Uh, we are learning more and more about Clever as we go. So this is for teachers that have students that would use Clever. Uh, this also helps you manage some of the accounts that are associated in our district like typing agent and such. So as a teacher, you're going to want to navigate to clever.com. And once you go there, it says log in and you need to type in your school name. Now this is where some people are having a few issues. I would type in Wayland Union School District. And you'll notice for these, um, you want to make sure you select the building that you're in, and then it says Wayland Union School District, comma, Michigan. There might be another choice that says Wayland Union Schools. Um, make sure you say the one that has district. And then it should prompt you to log in with Google. And as long as you are already logged in to like Google Chrome, like up here I'm logged in as Cheryl, um, it should be quick and easy. And I'll go ahead and log in. If you're not logged in with that, then you would need to put in your credentials. Um, most of you will log in as a teacher. Um, some people may have district admin rights, not many teachers. And then it'll say Clever Dashboard does not support instant login for teachers. Just tap on then go to portal. And then whatever programs that are currently in Clever, it will allow you to log in. Now, a lot of you will probably see Typing Agent um, or as we continue to add apps that are working with us. Like I'll go ahead and click on code.org. If I set my classes up in this, then I would tap on that and it will log me in with my credentials. And I would now have, this is where my teacher account is. And so then I can set up my courses and stuff like that. So um, I'm sure there's going to be more questions. Please keep the questions coming. We are learning um, as we go. And thank you for your patience.